Hello and welcome to another week's edition of the Weekly Waller Review Show. We had a, another fine week of winners last week, with plenty of the provincials and the two of note in town were awoke returning to form last Wednesday. Yeah, good to see her back in form and backed up your judgement, Charlie, well done. You said you've been working well and obviously we're missing last preparation, but through patient owners and having a bit of time out, she's come back probably as good as we've seen her. So. I guess the next step up is a Saturday race, which will be next Saturday, and keeping in mind, I think she beat Fox Plate last preparation, well, last year, this, this time, time last year. And on to, on to the Saturday, we have Vaucluse Bay winning the 2000 metre race. Yeah, it was a good win. Um, yeah, he's come a long way, that horse as well. He's been given a bit of time, and as a late three year old, he's, he's won two races this prep. and. Great money, Saturday prize money, Charlie. I think fifty thousand for the win, plus the Bob's Bob's bonus on top. So the owners walk away with seventy. Um, things are good. massive. Mm. We'll head straight into Ramwick, where we have in race one two two-year-olds going around. Calissimo. Two wins from three starts. Yeah, she's an Aquas horse, and I think Aquas is a a name you'll hear a lot of in in years to come. They're a, a serious. Group of um, or, uh, racehorse owners, breeders, uh, management of horses, you name it, they've, they've come a long way in a short time and based in Queensland but spreading their wings that's for sure and we've got a few nice horses for them and this is certainly one of them. She's a winner uh, at Eagle Farm prior to coming to the stable, last preparation as a two year old. She's won on a soft track, she's drawn well on Saturday, there's only six runners so Hugh Bowman in the saddle and she comes to Saturday's race with two good trials under a belt. Okay, we also have Gresham and Kira McAvoy and Barrier 2. Yeah, good first up run this prep. certainly was. It might be a really interesting race, that Kimber two-year-old race. I think you'll see some good form come out of it. The winner's also in this race. So We had two kilos off at last start when they met, but we did have an apprentice aboard. The senior rider and Kira McAvoy goes on on Saturday, and we've still got a kilo and a half less. So. I think that's enough to suggest we'll be competitive against that horse, who is rated highly. Um, and obviously there's a few other ones there as well. But yeah, tough ask. Saturday race for a maidener, but I think he deserves his chance. Okay, later on in the card in race five, we have Aquatic, barrier nine, 54 kilos, Kira yeah. McAvoy. Coming back in distance, it's not my only concern. I think you'll appreciate the soft six track. Uh, his last two runs have both been seconds on in Saturday races, one over 1200 at Ramwick and one at 1400 so coming back in trips a bit of a concern but look he's racing really well awkward barrier just needs a bit of luck needs a bit of speed on up front to get home over the top into the next race which is the 1800 we have Marin Oster at Thai England barrier one yeah, he's all good yesterday he did he's been out of form for such a long time it was a year ago he was winning listed races and he seems to be struggling for that same form uh, 1800 metres, month between runs has been helped bridge by that trial, as you said. Um, he's drawn one, if he gets a soft time in front, I'm sure he'll, he'll, he'll sprint strongly. Okay, and Leah Pari, barrier five, Tommy Barry. Yeah, he's in great form, this horse. He's suspect at the 1800, as is so Willie in the same race. Um, so, look, he's rock hard fit. Um, he's in winning form, he handles all conditions, he's got to be a chance. Okay, and you touched on so Willie, yeah. distance aquarium? Yeah it is, so I think he's been placed over 2,000 metres at Randwick. Um, he's a funny horse, he's, he's won three or four races this prep, but they've been all shorter than the mile, or mile or shorter. He did win over a mile this prep at Randwick. So, it's only an extra 200 metres, but we've just got to ride him conservative feeds and ensure he finishes off. And finally, loophole, third up, ready to fire? Yeah, he should be. There's no excuses for him. Um, I doubt he could win the race, but he needs to be running in the top five, Charlie. Uh, obviously, he's better over 2,000, but it's just been a lack of suitable races. Okay, and straight into the last, we have Hollywood Bounce, second up. He was good first up. Wasn't a bad run. Uh, just blew out naturally. He'll improve again. I doubt, I doubt he could win. Saturday, I hope he does, but I'd say he's still another run away, but if he could finish midfield, I'd be more than happy. And Dubai in style? 
Barry at one. Yeah, similar similar circumstances. Um, he's been off the scene for a long time. His run was just a little bit sharper than Hollywood Bounds first up, so you'd expect him to suggest that he could be a bit more forward. Therefore, he could run in the top three. Uh, whether he's got that rock hard fitness enough to win, I don't know, but uh, he's certainly got class on his side, and the soft six track certainly won't be a worry to him. Okay, we'll head down to Flemington where we have Diaps and Ben Thompson kick, taking off a kilo and a half. Yeah, looks well placed and not an overly big field. Trouble seems to be her biggest problem in races. You could make a case that she could have won every one of her starts. So I think on um, Saturday, good draw, good jockey. Playing the one and a half in the apprentice riders race, she's a terrific chance. Okay, later on in the card we also have Jaminza. Stephen Baster takes the ride. Yeah, he hasn't had a lot go his way either. He gets back in his races and takes a while to wind up. Suspect at the mile, but deserves another chance on Saturday. I think he's drawn eight or nine. He'll go back two thirds of the way and hopefully get a nice tag into the race to finish off strong. Okay, and just the one at Doombin as well. Loving home, top weight, but barrier five and Jim Byrne. Could be a bit suspect at the 2200, but as you said, he's got a soft draw, uh, good jockey aboard. His run last start wasn't too bad, although he's carrying the top weight, he's certainly the highest rated horse in the race, so he can certainly bounce back to form. Okay, hope you have a lovely weekend, folks.